Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the holy book, وَمَا أَصَابَكُمْ مِنْ مُصِيبَةٍ فَبِمَا كَسَبَتْ أَيْدِيكُمْ And no trouble, no musiba, no calamity befalls you, but it is because of your own deeds. Okay, my own deeds? Hmm. Why? Still, why? The verse continues. The verse says, kathir," And he pardons a lot. He is merciful. He says, you have done things that you should not have done. But I have made mercy obligatory upon me. كَتَبَ رَبُّكُمْ عَلَى نَفْسِهِ الرَّحْمَةِ your Lord has made mercy obligatory upon himself. So he says, I will send a musibah. I will send troubles. And then as a result of that, عَن كَثِيرٌ I'll wash away your sins. It is better to go through some calamities in this life than to pay for our deeds in the after life. And so, he tests us. He says, I'm going to test you. I will send the musibah. I will send the troubles and test you. Does he say that? Yes, he says that in the holy book. He says, And surely we are going to test you with khawf with fear, with hunger, with loss of wealth, with loss of lives, and with loss of crops and fruit. These are the example of griefs we have. Khawf we will discuss in the next, next section of this lecture. Khawf we discuss after this. And after that, your hunger some people he tests with a real hunger but people like you and me what does hunger mean for us maybe losing our job maybe one of the two spouses uh, loses his or her job loss of wealth what happens when the house prices go down? The equity loss, for example. You have invested in stocks, you lost a lot of money. After that, anfus, loss of lives, God forbid. Sometimes, may Allah protect all of you, all the believers and their families, but sometimes people do lose loved ones. Source of grief, a reason for grieving. And then, thamarat, crops and fruit, that can also be linked to the financial situation. So our worries can be about our finances or the loss of our loved ones. Or sometimes we also have griefs about having married someone we should not have married like my friend has the story I told you in the beginning all these things how can we deal with them the basic principle everything happens for a reason number one it does initially we will just recognize it rationally here it takes a long time to imprint it on our souls it will just be a mental exercise initially. But we have to keep reminding ourselves, everything happens for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. Day in and day out. The second principle, that every musibah comes to wash away our sins. Therefore the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, says that a believer has twitch of a vein or a scratch of a thorn but it washes away some of his sins. 
We also have a hadith that fever, having fever for one night, washes away 70 sins. This is all mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I know there are people that when they're walking around in the house and they hurt their pinky and it hurts badly, they do not say, ooh, ah, or utter some silly or vulgar words, which is very common, sadly, nowadays. They say, Alhamdulillah, that Allah has surely washed away some of my sins through that little pinky. So, this was the principle number two. And the third thing, the verse in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that surely we are going to test you with hunger and loss of wealth and so on. It continues, فَبَشِّرِ swabirin And give glad tidings to the patient ones. The, the third principle is coming now. فَبَشِّرِ swabirin الَّذِينَ إِذَا أَصَابَتْهُمْ مُصِيبَةٌ قَالُوا إِنَّا لِلَّهِ وَإِنَّا إِلَيْهِ رَاجِعُونَ So give glad tidings to the patient ones that when a calamity, a trouble befalls them, they say, إِنَّا لِلَّهِ وَإِنَّا إِلَيْهِ رَاجِعُونَ The Amir al said this for the first time. When he heard the news of the martyrdom of Ja'far, Tayyar, he said, Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'oon. That we often recite when we hear the news of death. But this has the whole faith hidden in it. It has beauties of our faith. It has depth if we look into it. Inna lillahi, this li, lam, means property, possession. Lahu ma fi samawati wa ma fil ard. In the Arabic language, when they use this lam, le, it means something is a possession of someone. Inna lillahi, we are the property of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He owns us. He is our master. He is the owner of everything. And to him shall we return. So when he owns everything, and he is all wise, he is all knowledgeable, then he can give anything to anyone anytime and he can take it back from anyone anytime. That is the third principle. So remember it. Number one, everything happens for a reason. It's a cliche statement, but true, true statement that we have to remind ourselves day in and day out. Number two, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends problems and troubles so that he washes away our sins. Number three, we have to be patient because everything is owned by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There is a wisdom behind everything that happens to us. But it is easier said than done. It's very easy for me to tell you all these stories and tell you all these uh, principles. And then you would say to me, Maulana, give me a break. This is all theory. How to deal with griefs and pains. 